Hey guys, it's T and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review and demo on the Missy Lynn eyeshadow and baked highlighter palette that she did with BH Cosmetics. And if you don't know, I'm not sure why King is barking. Nobody's here. Okay, so yeah, if you don't know, Missy Lynn is a pretty popular beauty guru on YouTube, and I actually found out about her right around the time the palette was launching after watching or while watching another YouTuber who mentioned the fact that she was like the first um, black woman to do a collaboration with BH Cosmetics and that she created this palette so I went to go look it up and that's how I came across um, Missy Lynn's channel and because I love to support black business black people I said that I was going to get this palette just to be supportive um so I did and I ended up getting it while it was still on pre-order so it was like $11.95 or something I think it's now $14.95 which is really a great price um, for everything that you're getting so it has a really nice size mirror in there and then she also has a quote which says start with confidence and finish with success so yeah then there are six eyeshadows and two baked blushes so i'm gonna really quickly walk through the colors that are there and so this is a really pretty it's not white but not exactly pink either but um pretty like highlight color and the shadows are really soft a nice texture and they pick up really well then there is this brown gold type of shade here um that i love this might be my favorite color on the palette and this is like a really nice neutral tone for me um but it, again it has those like gold flecks in it or bronze then there is this darker brown tone that to me has some kind of mauve -y color to it then there is this so it's kind of a burnt orange shade and I use it as like a transition color or something I swept it across the base of my lid before applying anything else it's the first color I applied then there is this kind of eggplant purple color here which that is what that color looks like on me and then finally there's this really deep plum shade and looks like that on me so then the last two things included on this palette are these baked highlighters I have to be honest I was really skeptical about these because when I ordered some of the baked shadows and blushes I think from elf I hated them they didn't pick up on the brush really well so I wasn't sure if that was just the nature of baked powders or that specific um, brand but I have to say I really really love these um, this one is really a bronze gold type of color and I'm wearing that one today and this one is what I would call like a rose gold it's gold but it has like a pink some pink tones to it I haven't used this the rose gold one yet um, but that's only because I love this one so much like it looks so very nice um, I watched her video where she talked about um, launching this palette and she mentioned that she wanted it to be um, something that could be used on all skin tones um, and she's a brown girl so I don't really know how true that is because I want to use it on myself and um, well, yeah, I've only used it on myself, but it's definitely very brown girl friendly. Um, if you just think about just the tones that are here, I mean, you might be kind of skeptical about this one being so bright, but it is a really nice highlight color. The rest of these are kind of our tones, and then purple is really good for brown girls because especially when you have, well, not even brown girls, but when you have brown eyes, it helps 
bring out that brown and then these highlighters can like bronze you up make you have like that healthy skin glow so also like as a beginner I really love this palette because I feel like you can get a lot of looks out of the colors that are included I love the size I think it's perfect for traveling it's not really big um, and I do love the actual size of the eyeshadows themselves they are I don't really have anything else to compare it to here but they are um, they have a really good surface area they're not really small like a lot of other palettes or pots that I've seen what else can I say I think it's a really good beginner palette because I'm a beginner and I love it I would recommend it to any brown girl who's just starting out or if you're looking for something kind of neutrally that can still have you look kind of natural but polished which is what I like in terms of makeup so yeah if you haven't gotten this palette yet, I say go and get it. From what I hear, it's a limited edition palette, so it may not be around for long. And just support another brown girl. We need to do a better job of supporting each other when we have um, these major kind of accomplishments to be the first black woman to um, collaborate with BH Cosmetics is huge. Go and order one. And if you have tried the Missy Lynn um, palette with BH Cosmetics, let me know what your thoughts are below. Tell me how you like it. What is your favorite shade? Um, I'm not going to say whether you don't like it because I know you're going to love it. So, so I did shoot a demo of how I did this look today. I am not calling it a tutorial because like I keep saying, I am a beginner and I really don't know what I'm doing. I just kind of do things that I see and hope that they work out or play around with stuff and hope that they work out. I'm still working out, working on this whole highlighting thing um, because I do think like, you know, it helps you catch the light. It ain't been working for me. So you can stay tuned to see how I did this look today. I, despite the bright sun outside, was not able to get like good lighting so you guys really see the color. So I tried to take some pictures outside um, so you could get a better look of what it actually looks like versus what it's showing on the camera. Um, so hopefully you guys find that helpful. If you have any tips for me, please share them below because like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so again, this is not a tutorial. It is a demo and a demo only, okay? All right, so if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you go and order your Missy Lynn palette. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Deuces. begin by prepping my eyes with this concealer from MAC in the color NW40. Next I'm going to be taking this primer from MAC and applying that to my lids. Sorry I don't remember what this particular product is called or the shade. Going in with my MAC 217 brush, I'm going to take that burnt orange shade and sweep it across the lid of my eye. Using my 239 brush from MAC, I'm taking my eggplant color and applying it to the outer V of my eye.
Going back in with that 217 fluffy brush and using that to blend out the color. Using my 239 brush, I'm using this dark plum color and again packing that into the outer V of my eye. Back in with my 217 brush, I'm going to blend that color out. Using my 239 brush from MAC, I'm going to take this bronze color and pack that in to the bottom of my lid. Using that same brush, I'm going to take some of that highlighter color and apply it to my inner tear duct for a little glow. Using that 217 brush, I'm going to take some of that highlighter color and apply it to my brow bone and blend, blend, blend. Today I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Liquid Liner in the color black. I'm using the mascara from Shane Moisture in the color black. I love, love, love this stuff. It's so creamy and rich. On top of that, I'm going to be using the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara by L'Oreal in the color Black is Black. I really love this mascara because it does a great job of elongating and combing through your lashes. Next I'm going back in with my 239 brush from MAC and smudging some of that dark plum color on my lower lash line. For foundation I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation in the color Coconut in number 355. Next I'm using the HD Lifting Concealer from e.l.f. Not sure that this has a color, but I am applying that to the middle of my forehead, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, right under my chin, and then triangles under the eye. I'm not sure why this seems to not work for me, but maybe some of you can help. I'm using this Beauty Blender dupe that I purchased from TJ Maxx, I think, for about $4 to blend out my concealer. To set my concealer, I'm using the setting powder from Sasha in the color Buttercup. And I just applied that to all the areas where I applied concealer. I allowed that to sit for a few minutes and now I am using a fluffy brush to remove it. <laughs> and this is me not really seeing the difference, <laughs> but maybe you do. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder from MAC in the color Dark using my Kabuki brush from e.l.f. Next, I'm taking this blush from Shea Moisture in the color Altia Sands and I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheek using a cheek brush from the Costco brush collection. Don't sleep on Costco guys, they have some really great brushes for an affordable price. Next, I'm taking this blush from MAC in the color Lovejoy, and I'm applying that to the apples of my cheek for a little shimmer and shine. Using the gold highlighter, I'm just going to take a fan brush from a kit that I got off of Groupon, and I'm going to apply that right above the apples of my cheek for a nice bronzy glow. And I'm also going to apply that on the bridge of my nose, my chin, and the end of my nose. And for lips today, I am going to be using Smoked Purple by MAC.
And to make sure my makeup stays in place, I'm going to be applying my fave MAC Fix Plus. And aside from taking my hair down, that completes the look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this demo of the Missy Lynn palette by BH Cosmetics. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.